Hey, it's Jim Fisher, AKA The Beat, with this week's community news. We're out on the road again at a local area high school where they're getting ready to do musical production this spring. This week, we're at Hilliard Bradley High School where Lucas Bovenizer is directing Hello Dolly. Thanks for having us out. We Absolutely. really appreciate your sharing uh, your kids and, and, and uh, your time with us. We know that this is a crazy week as you're getting into show week. Glad um, to have you, though. So we really appreciate it. Um, talk about. Uh, the, the piece, uh, Hello Dolly, it's sort of a classic piece of musical theater and how your kids have taken to it. Absolutely. Well, the kids kind of, we've done a 1950s musical these past three years. Uh, we did Pajama Game, Grease, Bye Bye Birdie, and so they were kind of aching for something that was different, <laughs> right? Sure. And so I thought, well, let's see, what's in the rep? What can we pull from? Uh, Hello Dolly, to me, has this classic story, but it's got this awesome uh, book that stands alone. It's based on The Matchmaker by Thornton Wilder, which was a farce in and of itself. Then Jerry Herman came in and added the music to it. So for me, it's a standalone piece that it has two strong elements, and that was something I wanted to give the kids. I play a matchmaker, and I am trying to get I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to marry the half a millionaire and get all his money. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. Um, I like to say it's just it's a musical farce, so it's a comedy which gets people coming. But it's also about her trying to arrange everyone's lives around each other. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm kind of a huge dork who hasn't been out much, and so she sort of provides the opportunity for me to get out. And it just sort of starts this chain reaction where just everything kind of falls together for all these characters. Mm -hmm. um, uh, from a, uh, uh, a teaching standpoint, I guess, talk about what uh, you want your kids to get out of putting on a piece like this. Um, well, first off, you'll see the costumes that they wear are different than, than we've put on uh, for any other production that we've, that we've done here at Bradley so far. Um, and then, really, what it's about is it's about them finding the honesty in the story and in the characters and then fulling, uh, fulfilling that through line and everything. Uh, any, any sort of production can be educational. It's about what they can take away from it and their honesty and, and the truth that they, that they bring to it. Um, well, me personally, there are just like so many different versions of the character Dolly. Like I've seen um, like Carol Channing, I watched that video of her playing it and then there's Barbara Streisand and Pearl Bailey and all these different people that have played her and I feel like she's different every time someone plays her so you kind of get to choose your own path. Yeah and a lot of times with acting you know you have to put yourself into the character as well to make it seem organic so a lot of the times Cornelius is played as this really dorky lovable guy but there's so many different ways to do that and I'm awkward in different ways than other people and so you just bring that out and I feel like it's really easy to bring yourself into mm -hmm. a character to further it. And uh, you talked about the songs. Uh, a lot of them have become sort of part of the American songbook, mm -hmm. if you will. People, and uh, I think you're going to find out maybe that people know the songs, even if they don't know they know the I, songs. I hope so. And okay. I think I think uh, parents and grandparents grew up with Louis Armstrong's version of the of the title number. And then uh, then these kids are were introduced uh, by the film Wally. -E, right. Right. Yeah. There are a few of those numbers in there, and so they were excited to to kind of put two and two together when that happened. Sure. And beautiful singing and dancing in this. Oh yeah. Yeah, my yeah. goodness. And, and Kelsey Burkett, who is my music director, has brought out the full harmonies from the whole show. You've got six-part harmonies at certain times, and it's really glorious. It's, it's magical. Um, uh, from an audience standpoint, what do you think that they're going to see from, uh, what's going to stand out to them from the audience? Um, I think the set. We've got the biggest set that we've done so far here at Bradley. Uh, the costumes, the harmony, and I think that there's going to be more laughter in this uh, than there has been in, uh, in some of the others. There's a lot of pratfalls, a lot of mistaken identities, right. and so the, the audience can take that away. Along with the storyline, the through line of the love story, you know, it only takes a moment, right? So, <laughs> and that gets me right here every time, just the heartbeat of the show. Sure.